guys, Mike from the Off Grid Shop here. Today we're talking about living with an EV. Now it's a question we get asked all the time. A lot of people want to go off grid or they want to buy an electric vehicle and things like that. I think one of the most underrated things that we don't consider is a lot of people, I'm a big fan of single person transport. The cost of electric car, traffic congestion, all that sort of stuff, bikes are something that's so overlooked and electric motorcycles just really make sense. Now for a commuter, this is a 2014 Model Zero. I brought this back in 2015. I've had it for a very long time. I've actually just sold it, so I thought I'd better make some videos on it before it goes. <laughs> got, a, I got a new one to come. I just had knee surgery, so I can't ride motorbikes uh, for a little bit of time. So with the Zero, it's a really ideal commuter bike. The reality is you get about 120 kilometer range on the highways, and around town you can push up to about 200 kilometers just cruising through traffic. Now, if you think about it from an energy point of view, a car, now in a car, you'll use three times the amount of energy because you're moving three times the mass pretty much with the weight and things like that. You'll just use bike. A Nissan Leaf, as an example, has you know, a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack and does about 120 kilometer range. Well, this has, you know, it's 11.4 kilowatt hour battery pack and does about 120 kilometer range. So from an energy efficient point of view, bikes are so much better. And when I brought this back in 2014, it was pretty much one of the only choices that you get. Here in Australia, just itself these days, there's the Savic, which is a really cool Melbourne-based company. The whole bike's completely made here in Australia. Um, they got some backing from an ex-Ford engineer. We got the guys from Fonzarelli that make the scooters down in Redfern in Sydney. They get their batteries and some motors and stuff like that made overseas, but they're a really cool product. And scooters are something that's really overlooked, especially with the Fonzarelli products. Um, they're a really cool little product, really quality built. I actually personally, I've got an old 1984 TT600 that I purchased a kit to convert my bike to electric, and it's actually a Fonzarelli battery and a Fonzarelli motor, which is pretty cool. It's gonna go in there. The quality of the product's pretty top notch. I'm really happy with it, with the Fonzarelli and stuff like that. So give you a bit of background of how I travel around on this. Like, a lot of people worry about going to petrol stations and things like that. Owning an EV, petrol stations become an inconvenience because owning an electric motorcycle, the port's on the other side, but as soon as you get home, just plug it into a 10 amp power point, it'll charge on the onboard charger overnight, it's pretty simple. It's only got a 1.3 or 1300 watt charger on board, so it's designed to plug in any power point around the world, is what it's done for. And then when I travel on the highways, I actually take this fast charger with me, so if you think about it like this, on the highways, I normally pull up, I try and find a caravan park on the motorbike when I'm traveling. I normally ride for an hour and I pull up and charge for an hour. So I use the fast charge and I find one of the caravan mushrooms because with the caravan mushrooms, I can plug in two 15 amp power points with this charger here and also I can plug in the onboard charger. It normally takes about 45 minutes, but by the time I get there, get my gear off, uh, sometimes I have to put a raincoat over everything because it's raining to keep everything from getting wet and electrocuted. Um, another thing I do use, Back in 2015 when I started doing all this, this was actually wasn't available, but I've built this in the last few years where literally I can plug into a Tesla destination charger and I can charge my fast charger and get my onboard charges and things like that. So traveling around these days is very different to what it used to be and you can do so much on a motorbike and something I think that's really underrated when it comes to getting around in transport. So guys, I hope this has really been helpful. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear in the comments below. If you're thinking about an EV, there's a load of new models coming out. Let us know what you're looking at.